Gary's player, biography, lifestyle, and net worth. When we hear the name Gary Player, most times the first thought that comes to many who are golf lovers is that he's one of the best in the world. The amazing golfer from South Africa became the first golfer not from the USA to win the Grand Slam of golf. I mean, it's no small feat for just one person to win the Masters, the US Open, the British Open, as well as the PGA Championship. His career spans almost six decades and he's won more than 160 events on six continents, making him one of the game's most successful players. He began playing golf as a teenager and became a professional just at the age of 17. Four years later, his true journey began as he joined the PGA Tour. And like any lover of the game who goes on to become the world champion, each victory fueled his desire to become one of the game's greatest players. Born in 1935 to Muriel and Harry Player, Gary was raised in Johannesburg with two other siblings, both of them older than him. One horrifying moment in his life was when he saw his own mother ravaged by cancer before he finally witnessed her last breath when he was just 8 years old. That must have been traumatic for anyone. But in life, even when life throws rocks at us, we can use those to build a home and that's what the player family did. Gary's father, Harry, was fueled to make something good out of his children's lives even with their mother's absence. So he worked in gold mines for the majority of his life. However, he was intrigued by Gary's love for golf. His 14-year-old son had become so enamored with golf, so who was he not to support his son's dreams? So he took up a loan and bought a set of golf clubs for his dear son so he could practice. That is definitely a picture of a man who believes in his son. The player honed his golf technique at the Virginia Park Golf Course in Johannesburg with his new golf clubs. His father's faith in him began to play off when he finally turned professional three years later. His Career after joining the PGA Tour in 1957, it wasn't long before Player was winning tournaments, including the Kentucky Derby Open the following year. This was his first victory among many. A year after that, he won his first major competition, the oldest of the four major professional golf tournaments, the British Open. He was just 24 at the time. It was so evident that he would go on to do great things at this point. The 1961 season was another free fall of victories for him as he won the Lucky International Open in January and the Sunshine Open Invitational in March, earning him back-to-back -back wins. In April, he competed in the Masters Tournament, one of the most prestigious golf competitions, and won by one shot. It was almost looking like he would be dubbed the one-shot man, as he beat Bob Golby in the PGA Tour of 1962. He won a slew of other tournaments including the US Open and Open Championship in the 1960s. The prolific player also had a great time in the 1970s. He won the Open Championship and he also won the Masters Tournament on two occasions, but his best was yet to be seen. Some would argue that the 1980s were his peak years as he remained in top form throughout the decade, winning over 20 trophies. He won PGA Senior Championship on two occasions, the US Senior Open on two occasions and the British Senior Open on two occasions as well. He kicked off the 1990s with a victory in the British Senior Open, which he won for the second time in 1997. He also won the Bank One Senior Classic twice. Gary showed no evidence of slowing down, despite him getting older as he continued to play golf, winning the Senior Skins game back-to-back -back in 2000 and 2001. It's so obvious that this man lives and breathes golf. He puts his creative side to the work and he designed a number of golf courses. He also published a number of golf books that could help a golfer get better in his game. He is an example to many young sports people because of his complete dedication to his career, making him one of the finest players in the game's history. His Controversy Like everyone, Gary also has some moments clouded with controversy. His first controversy sparked up when he bought the green jacket home from Augusta National after losing the Masters Tournament in 1962. Only winners of the Masters Tournament are permitted to take their jacket home. All others must leave their coats on the club grounds. After returning to South Africa with his jacket, he received a phone call from the club chairman demanding that he return it. Gary simply claimed in his defense that he was unaware of the restrictions. He stirred up another storm when he made controversial statements about apartheid in South Africa in 1966, supporting the policies that typified the country and describing whites as having the ability to maintain civilized values and standards while describing other South African citizens as alien barbarians who believed in primitive magic and practiced ritual murder and polygamy. These remarks sparked uproar particularly among racial rights groups. At the 1969 PGA Championship, some people protested directly against the player. He was ridiculed as a racist by hecklers at another tournament in the 1970s 
and the controversy lasted well into the whole decade. He renounced his former remarks on South African apartheid in 1987. He said in an interview that year that apartheid was a cancerous sickness and that it was wrong. He also expressed satisfaction that apartheid was coming to an end. He later claimed that the South African authorities brainwashed him to believing in apartheid. The Player Foundation, a charity foundation he started, raised millions of dollars for South African impoverished youths. His Awards and Achievements For his achievements in golf and services to non-racial sports in South Africa, the President of South Africa awarded him the Order of Ikamanga, gold for exceptional achievement in 2003. In 2006, the PGA Tour presented him with the Payne Stewart Award for his persistent commitment to the golf world in its entirety. He received the PGA Tour Lifetime Achievement Award in 2012, which is given to people who have made a significant impact on the PGA Tour over a long period. He was also a member of South Africa's World Cup team in Madrid. He looked excellent and was awarded the prize for the best individual score in the event despite having issues with his neck. The year was not over for him though. He became the first non-American to win the US Open in that same year. In 1974, while competing in the Masters Tournament, he smashed in a 9-iron shot on the 71st hole. The strike was considered the most significant one for that he won the PGA Seniors Championship by shooting a third round 29 on the front nine, defeating Jack Nicklaus, Lee Trevineau, and Chichi Rodriguez. His personal life and legacy He married Vivienne Verve in 1957, who was actually the sister of one of his friends. The couple went on to have six children. Currently, the couple also has 22 grandchildren. The player is a loyal family man who cares deeply about his huge extended family. Gary Player is also passionate about giving back to society and his family established the Player Foundation in 1983 to provide education, nutrition, and medical treatment to poor youngsters in South Africa. Vivienne, who passed away a few years ago, was a trailblazer in her own right when on the golf course. She once made two acres in a single round. Gary was also very vocal about the importance of fitness to golfing. He even has some videos of him still doing push-ups in his 80s, even though he has since retired. That's how much he values his health. It's no wonder why he is still alive and seems not to be slowing down as fast as people of his age. Before we jump into his net worth, be sure to subscribe to our channel to be entered into our monthly shoutout giveaway. Simply comment, I subbed, once you have commented, and you stand a chance to win. So let's jump into his net worth. Gary Player's net worth is expected to be over $250 million. He makes an estimate of over $2 million monthly, so he can peg his annual income at about $20 million. At his ranch, he raises thoroughbred racehorses, which he also sells from time to time, generating another source of income. He also makes money from designing golf courses, which he might say he is pretty good at. You can check out the Gary Player Country Club and the Leopard Creek Country Club and see how beautiful they are.